another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back. Uh, I'm going to upload this to both channels, this and the Texas Boxing Scene channel. Please subscribe to the Texas Boxing Scene channel as well. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. Um, obviously, you guys see the tag. Um, Brandon Figueroa, Stephen Fulton, which is scheduled for September 18th, is off. Not going to happen on September. I'm not, it's not off, it's postponed. I, I misspoke. It's postponed. Uh, Brandon Figueroa has tested positive, uh, not verbal tea, uh, <laughs> but for COVID 19. Uh, so we wish him a speedy recovery. I uh, hope Brandon's feeling well. I know Brandon, he's a good guy. Um, we're really, really a uh, good family, good guy um, down there in, in, in Westlaco, West Texas. Um, so hoping the best for him. Um, this, this is a shame, um, because this was a great fight for fight fans. Uh, this is, this was a, a dream come true. This was a home run for hardcore, especially those who like, you know, small weight classes. Um, you know, Fulton and, and Figueroa just look so good on paper, right? So you have Figueroa. Um, who is come forward, uh, throws a hundred punches, moves his head pretty well, could avoid shots. You know, he, he he's an inside fighter, um, who has a little bit of skills on the outside, a little bit of skills, who can make you miss a little bit. You know, he is what he is. He's, he's a come forward, straight Mexican fighter w- with that style, straight from you know Panther to boxing gym, um, where they do what they do. You know, um. You know, I talked to Joel Diaz. I said, how do you train him? You know, he's so unorthodox, so unconventional. You know, when he comes in, do you want to change? It's like, you can't. They just, they do what they do. It works for them. So it's just a matter of tweaking it. But, you know, Figueroa's style is so much fun. Omar's style was so much fun. Um, and then you have Stephen Fulton, who's a master boxer. And then fought Angelo Leo in a phone booth. Fought into Angelo Leo's hands and outclassed him. Beat him up bad uh, to capture um, to capture his world title. So I mean, this is a, a unification fight. Um, Stephen Fulton, um, WBO title. Uh, Brandon Figueroa, the, the WBC title, who lost his WBA title. Uh, we can get into that all day. So it's for the WC and WBO. It's a unification fight. It's a big time fight. Uh, Figueroa is 22-0-1. Uh, the one draw to uh, Julio Ceja back in uh, 2019 on the uh, Wilder uh, Luis Ortiz card when Ceja missed weight by 1,000 pounds. Stephen Fulton, 19-0. and um, Stephen Fulton, is, is interesting. He, he's got the win over, over Angelo Leo. He's got a win over Arnold K. Guy. Um, he's got a win over an unbeaten fighter then, Isaac Avalar. Uh, but if you go back, and it's crazy. He's got a win over Adam Lopez back in 2017. Uh, it was, you know, in retrospect, uh, that's a really good fight. That's a really good win. Uh, that was on the Luis Ortiz Daniel March card back December 18th, 2017. Um, and, and you go back even earlier than that, real early in his career in 2015, he's got a win over Josh Greer. I mean, this is a guy who beat so many undefeated fighters on his way up. It's pretty unbelievable. You know, Fulton had to earn everything the hard way. Um, and he did. He did. Uh, I mean, Fulton is – he's a fighter's fighter. You know, he didn't get hand up. He didn't get cupcakes. He didn't get cab drivers. He had to beat people to get where he is, and he did it. Um Brandon Figueroa, much more touted. You know, his older brother was a world champion. Um, you know, and not to take it away from Brandon. You know, he works he, he works extremely hard. Um, he, he's a fun fighter. But he had a, 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 an easier, smoother path where uh, Fulton had to beat everyone. But this is a great fight. 
And uh, we are going to get it. It's not like the fight's canceled. It's just postponed for a while. Um, I, hopefully we do get it this year. I would imagine, you know, six weeks, eight weeks, which would put us at the end of October, early November. I'm guessing probably November we'll get this fight. Um, but it's unfortunate, you know, um, this is a fight that everyone in the boxing world was looking forward to. Everyone had their opinion, um, unification fight, um, that was supposed to lead a triple header. Um, and, uh, now, now we're not going to get the one thing I, I, I do hope, um, is, is that they take it out of Vegas and put it in Texas. Um, Fulton has fought on. Uh, a Figueroa card in Texas back in August of 2019 um, when, when Figueroa beat Chacon, um, on that in the co-main event. Um, Stephen Fulton beat Isaac Avalar. Um, stopped him with a body shot. Um, and, and he, you know, Fulton said he's had some of his best fights in Texas. He likes fighting in Texas. Uh, obviously, Figueroa is a huge draw in Texas, in the Valley, in the Rio Grande Valley. I think the fight makes a lot of sense to him. Let's put it in Texas. I don't know if that's too much of a home court advantage uh, for Brandon Figueroa. But Figueroa is the biggest star in the fight. He should get, you know, he should get it if he wants. Uh, let's put it in the Rio Grande Valley. Um, I think it's a great place to put boxing. Uh, There's a huge boxing community. I'm um, also on that card. Race Alim, who might be the best guy in the division, um, is fighting uh, Edward Baez. Eduardo Baez. Um, it's a good card. You have Gary Antonio Russell also on the card. Uh, he's fighting Alejandro Barrios. Um, so it, it's a good card. We're going to get it. It's just being moved now. Um, but I mean, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Um, it's unfortunate. You know, best wishes for, for Figueroa. Um but let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comment below. Um, please subscribe. Uh, uh, please <sighs> lose my brain. Uh, please subscribe on all forms of social media: three D boxing, three D boxing. Box. Also, our second channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, please subscribe to that channel as well. Help us get that monetized. Help us get that up and running. Um, it is September sixth. I'm sorry, September seventh, twenty twenty one. Um, Ivan Calderon is still out in the boxing hall, and let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.